always thought that creativity is kind of an odd thing because sometimes it is there and is just so strong and then other times you're just grasping for that inspiration and it can be a difficult process. Over the years I've been very inspired to work on music or to paint and for me a big place that I have wanted to get to for many years has been to be able to produce consistently in both of those areas. My time in high school really did play a big part in my evolution as an artist and as a, as a producer, as a music person. So when I started at Carmichael, a buddy of mine, Max, who you may know as DJ Abilities, was also a student there. And some other friends of ours at the time had an interest in building a, a music program there. It really was like this explosion of creativity. Face Mentality is a record that I released some years ago. The record is mostly instrumental, but also features my buddy Terrell, Carnage the Executioner, Slug from Atmospheres, my old buddy Ideas on the record, and that kind of came about as a trade, actually, because I have always been doing these uh, drawings that are just many faces. And he said, this is perfect for my record. I want to call it the Many Faces of Oliver Hart. Would you be interested in doing a trade and I said absolutely that's where our collaboration quality programming came from and for many years I have done these faces and people you know definitely identify that with me because it, that's probably you know one of my biggest art projects that has gone out into the world I taught with Creative Arts High School in St. Paul for many years and this last year have taken that leap to working on my own artwork full time. I like to keep things pretty simple and keep things really tight. You know, I think sometimes with the right amount of looseness, it can add like a really nice sense of funkiness. I guess for many years, my painting process was just very much based in improvisation. So now that I look back on that body of work, in comparison, I really like having a plan now and really basing my newest collection of paintings on drawing. You know, I think my style right now that I'm working with is very graphic, very just design oriented. Something that is very therapeutic for me about working in these different mediums is that it feeds different parts of my soul. One of the fun things about screen printing is that it's always a bit of a process of discovery because you're creating the design ahead of time and then kind of seeing how that turns out and how those colors that you're using will respond to each other and really to see that come to life as you're printing something that may have been designed on a computer beforehand or a combination of drawings that you put together in Photoshop. With my art and my music, I'm able to express different things. And my artwork a lot of times comes from a place of me uh, working on stuff by myself. But really one thing I think that's beautiful about the music making process for me right now is that it allows me to collaborate uh, with different people right now musically than I am artistically. That's a big part of why it's been so important for me to, to jam over at my pops' place. I don't know what the meaning of this is, but it sounds to me like Bucka. Bucka. basement. It, it, it's the meat. Basement is uh, something that 
for as long as I remember was a musical place. As a kid, you know, my pops would practice there with the group that he was working with at the time, so there was always a, a you know, kind of a collection of people coming in and out of the space and different instruments that would show up and be there. So as long as I can remember, it has been a, this creative space. There isn't a name necessarily for the jam session. Often we refer to ourselves as the dudes. So it's the dudes, we get to hang out and have a martini and uh, work on music. And that experience for me, anyways, is, is really pretty therapeutic. I think something that has been influencing my drumming lately is that I really do have this new sense of urgency in the music that I'm making, in the art that I'm making. I've had this, I guess, concept in the back of my head for years that a goal of mine is to be on fire, you know, and really just to be able to produce the full extent that I can. Mm -hmm. 